Good evening and welcome to our Lenten Reflection on this Wednesday the 24th of March. Our reflection tonight is led by Sue Palmer. But first, a hymn, I Heard the Voice of Jesus. Tonight's reading is from John's Gospel. To the Jews who had believed in him, Jesus said, If you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are Abraham's descendants and have never been slaves of anyone. How can you say that we shall be set free? Jesus replied, Very truly I tell you, everyone who sins is a slave to sin. Now a slave has no permanent place in the family, but a son belongs to it forever. So if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed. I know you are Abraham's descendants, yet you are looking for a way to kill me, because you have no room for my word. I am telling you what I have seen in the Father's presence, and you are doing what you have heard from your father. Abraham is our father, they answered. If you were Abraham's children, said Jesus, then you would do what Abraham did. As it is, you are looking for a way to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do such things. You are doing the works of your own father. We are not illegitimate children, they protested. The only father we have is God himself. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me, for I have come here from God. I have not come on my own. God sent me. Why is my language not clear to you? because you are unable to hear what I say. 
you belong to your father the devil and you want to carry out your father's desires he was a murderer from the beginning not holding to the truth for there is no truth in him when he lies he speaks his native language for he is a liar and the father of lies yet because i tell the truth you do not believe me can any of you prove me guilty of sin if i am telling the truth why don't you believe me whoever belongs to god hears what god says the reason you do not hear is that you do not belong to god i read and reread this passage wondering what god was saying through it on the surface it's an historical account of jesus meeting with some jewish followers albeit one with a good sound bite then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free I could talk about what is truth, but I've only got three minutes. So what do we learn from the rest of the narrative? Firstly, that the Jews Jesus was speaking to have short memories. He tells them that they need to be set free. But we're Abraham's descendants. We've never been slaves, they protest. So they've forgotten about Moses leading them out of Egypt despite commemorating this journey in the Passover every year. Do we sometimes forget what God has done for us? Do we forget all the answered prayers? Do we forget that he sent his son to free us from our sins, despite the fact that we commemorate it every year at Eastertide and at every Eucharist? The second thing we learn is that in this story, Jesus isn't, Jesus isn't talking to his enemies. His audience in this instance isn't the Pharisees, who were always looking for ways to trip him up, but Jews who had believed in him. They were on his side, interested in following him, but they didn't understand what he was saying. But then the disciples didn't always understand him either. They constantly got the wrong end of the stick and they were with him every day. We do not always understand what God is saying either. We pray, we read the Bible, we consult commentaries, but we miss the point. Like the Jews in the story, we get confused by Jesus' teaching. Do not fret and do not give up. A passage of scripture which you did not understand yesterday may speak to you today. You will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Thank you, Sue, for your words this evening. And now for that hymn, Lead Us, Heavenly Father, Lead Us.
Thank you for joining us this evening for our Lenten Reflection and thanks once again to Sue for your words tonight. Please do join us if you can tomorrow evening at 5.30 for our Lenten Reflection then. Good night and God bless.